So, um, tell me your beautiful name. My name? Yes. I'm Jennifer. Mm, Jennifer. Wow, what a spectacular name. So tell me, Jennifer, has anyone told you that you're the most beautiful creature in the world? Please, we just stop it. Just stop it already. Oh, just no stop. Offense. That's how you guys are. Oh, well, if you say so. No offense. Um, so where are you off to now? You want to know where I'm headed? Yes, you with the traveling back, so... Well, I'm going home. Um, okay, you're just returning from a trip? No. N-O. No. So, why with the traveling bag? Fine, if you must know. I just left my ex-boyfriend's house. I mean, I just broke up with him. That fool. Idiot like him. I am so sorry. I understand how you feel. You know, so many times a lot of people don't know the value of what they have until they lose it. It's a very common phrase. And we've all experienced it, so I'm so sorry, okay? Five years. Five years I was with him. And then the dude was busy, cheating on me. Jumping from one girl to another. Not for once did I cheat on him. Not for once. So did you actually see him with another girl? I waited for him. I waited for at least let him propose to me. But he never did. Oh no, he never did. Instead, he was busy gallivanting the whole town. Jumping from one girl to another, one cheap loose girl to another. I'm happy I've left him. I'm happy. I just pray that it's fine. It's, 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 it's all good. That makes it two of us, you know. I got my baby engaged before I traveled to the States for greener pastures. And surprisingly, when I got back, she was married to my best friend. Can you imagine that? What? Yes. I have to run now. I'm running late, okay? Yes, totally. And I will be going to the boutique soon. You're going to the boutique? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're fit for that? You know that your health is my priority. Yes, yes I do. I am fine and ready to go back to business. You're sure? I promise. Okay, if you say so. Please just take care of yourself, okay? I will. Love. And um, one more thing, babe, mm -hmm. do not overwork yourself. I won't. I promise. You My sure? dearest husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you know we're doing lunch today. Of course, how can I even forget? You can't forget. Mm -mm. All right, darling, I have to run. Ain't you forgetting something? Look, I don't always have to remind you. <sighs> I'm so sorry. My love. <laughs> I owe it to you as an obligation to always show you some loving. <laughs> Give you some loving. I love you, darling. I love you. Mm. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye, darling. You too. She does love me. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Joy. How have you girls been? We are fine, ma. ma. How is your health? I am fine. I am well, thank God. <laughs> so tell me, girls, did anyone come looking for me in my absence? Ma, so many people came looking for you. That's your customer for Mira and Babangi Dawi. Sandra. Yes, ma. 
Did she give you some money to keep for me? Yes, she gave us 100,000 naira to keep. She said you understand. Of course I do understand. Sandra never disappoints, you know. <laughs> it feels so good to be back to work. Welcome, Welcome ma. ma. We miss we you. We missed you so much. <laughs> I miss you girls too. Thank you. You can go. If you get me the sales book, okay? Okay, ma. Thank right. you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Babe, how far now? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm on my way to your boutique now. I'm coming to see Helen. Ah, uh, no. You know, I have been out of work for some time now. So, I just need a little time to fix one or two things with the girls. That's not a problem. I'll just come and check up on you, then leave. Okay, see you soon. Bye. She sound angry. Is everything okay with her? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're welcome to Nice Things Collection. Here we sell the best of the best of Turkey wares. Oh, well, mm -hmm. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we also have some place in town where we do ready to wear for both male and female good stuffs. Wow. Hmm. I'm very impressed. Thank you so much. <laughs> We should get your card and then here is ours. Oh, okay. That number right there. You're a lawyer? Yes, I did study law. <laughs> then why are you not practicing? That's because I am a fashionista. I love fashion. So I, oh. I chose fashion over law practice. Wow, I mean, that's incredible and that's very rare to find. I'm, I'm very impressed. Thank you so <laughs> much. I, I am someone that goes for talent. I have love for talents and I love fashion. Then my mom was a great fashion designer before she passed. Oh, um, I'm so sorry. My heartfelt condolences. What happened to her? We lost her to cancer. Um, I'm so sorry. Thank you. It's all it's so good. So you're going for this one? Um, uh, yes, uh, I'll take the top. Um. Okay. So this is good. This is good. So I'll just go pack it over for you over there. 16. Okay, 16. Yes. Yeah, right, so, yeah, that's the one. Good morning, ma. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Ma. Where is your madam? She's over there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, when my mom was alive, I was very close to her. Mm. It was just me, my mother, my younger sister, and our adopted brother. Oh. Yes, just us together. So I learned this business from her. But I can beat my hands on my chest and say I am better than my mother today. Wow. Because these days we now use foreign machines to stone and sew our clothes. Wow. And the finishing <laughs> is superb. Trust me, you can't tell the difference between the locally made ones here and the foreign ones. Well, honestly, I can see that and I'm very, very impressed. Thank you. Uh, well, um, one of these days I'll come with my babe so we can patronize you guys. Uh, I'm very impressed. I'm that, sure she'd like it. <laughs> that would be so nice. I yes. look forward to having both of you. Definitely. Around. You always see me. Thank you. So what's the name? Bobby. Ah, Mr. Bobby. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so some other time, I guess. Sure, definitely. All right, All do right, take care. Okay. okay, that's All right, fine. Take care of yourself. I will. Ah, uh, uh, what is it? Um, who was that guy? Well, that guy is a customer that happened to walk in here because this is a boutique <laughs> hi yes come with me my friend oh yeah i think that was a successful meeting yeah come in
Is there something I can do for you? No, really, sir. Okay. If there's nothing I can do for you, please return to your space. Um, sir, I just wanted to make sure you don't want anything. Like, is there anything I can do for you? Anything like what? Maybe keep your company. You want to keep me company in my office? Okay. Maybe if the office is not conducive enough. Why don't we go to somewhere cooler? Like hotel room or something. Are you raving mad? Have you suddenly lost it all or what? <sighs> Look, um, I, I, I didn't mean it that way. All I'm saying is I am young and I am very fertile. I can give you what your wife cannot. How is her? My baby is fine. <laughs> hey, your mother-in-law and your sister-in-law, are they still around? Nope. They are long gone. I thought as much. Uh-uh. What do you mean? Your countenance. Oh. It's changed a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I have decided to be happy despite whatever that is happening around me. Mm. I want to keep smiling in the faces of my enemies. You sound as if you know your, who your enemies are. Of course! They know themselves. How? Well, I don't know. This girl, see, what I have to say to you, Lucia, mm. is that you have to put your mother-in-law in her place. That woman has beaten more than she can chew. Mm -mm. Mama Harold is doing what every other mother-in-law would do. Olivia, what has suddenly come over you? Are you... Do you realize what you're doing? What if someone barges in on us? Don't you think that's going to be a shame? Look, all I'm saying is I want to make you feel happy, Philip. I am young and I have all it takes to make you children. Are you okay? Take your filthy hands off me. Get out of my office right now. And don't just get out of my office. Not fire me, please, sir. I, 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 I didn't mean to do it, sir. This, this is not happening. Please, I'm sorry. Please, don't fire me. I don't want to myself. Walk out of this office, take your things, and leave this premises immediately. Sir, please, I'm I sorry. I said I don't want to repeat myself. Sir, please. Get out! What about the IVF Dr. Mitchell suggested to you and your husband? Mm -mm. I haven't given it a thought. You say, Lucia, what are you talking about? I'm not comfortable with it. I, I don't want, I don't know. I, I'm not interested. Why are you being irrational? IVF is not a bad thing. Okay. Let's say I decide to consider IVF it will still fail so what's the point you stop why are you sounding like someone who has lost hope <laughs> there's no harm in trying I lost hope a long time ago Yay. see let me tell you Lucia 
There are a lot of couples I know that tried IVF. And trust me, they did not re Hello? Yes, who is this? What? No! What is it? What is it? Why? Oh my God, please, can you can't talk to me! thinking of coming to pick you for lunch mm. but then I fired Olivia why <sighs> Olivia came to my office to seduce me what <laughs> I honestly don't know what came over her Imagine her telling me she would give me what my wife cannot give to me. That she would have as many children as I want. Can you beat that? <laughs> I think it's actually becoming clearer now. What are you getting at? You know, someone called my phone at the office and told me to hurry to your office and catch you red-handed making out with your secretary. Yes. Me. Sleeping with my secretary. Okay. Where is she? Where is she now? Come on, babe. I think whoever is doing this is close to our family and the person is responsible for our childlessness. You think so? I know so. So what do we do? We just have to find a way to unmask the person behind the mask. Job. I don't understand. How do you mean? Why are you asking me how? Why are you asking me how? We know the one asked me to go and seduce my boss. And now I'm fired. Uh -huh. So, what happened? You didn't succeed? What are you saying? I said I just got fired because you asked me to go seduce my boss. What? What are you saying? A simple job to get your boss seduced and sleep with him? You couldn't deliver. I had even called the wife and told the wife that Harold is packed down with the secretary. Oh my goodness. Why would you call his wife? What, what was that what we planned? You only told me to get pregnant for him and just help give your friend a child. Why would you call his wife? M -m 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 Must I tell you everything? Are you a child? Where are you? I need to see you. Okay. You want to know where I am, isn't it? Oh, fine! You want to know where I am? Oh, listen up. Listen, listen, listen. I am somewhere around Usomia Junction. If you just enter the street, you see my car parked by the side. So I think it would be right you come over, then let's go somewhere and enjoy ourselves. No, no, don't worry. Just come. Let's go and have fun. Are you serious right now?
Hello. The, hello. He hung up on me. He hung up on me. How stupid can I be? Wait, 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 wait. I don't understand you. You mean your secretary was trying to seduce you? What? Are you serious right now? Mm -hmm. All these are Saba girls. What they cannot do does not exist. So she wants to lure you to sleep with her? Yes. She wanted to. But she got what she deserved. She got fired. Oh, you said her? Oh, yes, I did. Wow. See? Wow. I'm not saying sucking her wasn't good, but I mean, why just suck her? I mean, you should have have a taste of it, you know. Stop moping at me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you should have enjoyed her before you let her go. Esther. Did that just come from you? You, you mean I should have slept with Olivia in my office? Oh, okay, now I see what the problem is. Okay, you have a problem with enjoying her in your office. So that means, why don't you then go ahead and make reservation in one of these good hotels in the city and enjoy it? Oh. I mean, you have opportunity to sleep with that girl. Look at that girl. Isn't she beautiful? Really? Mm. Beautiful girl. I'm telling you, that girl is young and beautiful. She's active. Harold, you need a child. You need a woman who will give you a baby. Someone who's going to make you be a father. You're saying I should have slept with Olivia. Kesta, what kind of a friend are you? A special kind of friend. A friend who watches over his own friend. A friend who understands the need to be part of relationship. You are my friend, and it is my responsibility to protect you. I cannot cheat on my wife, Kester. You see, I don't know why you're starting to be your sounding, but trust me, what you hold sacrosanct is what other men harbor. A little bit of infidelity will not kill you. Don't forget. You've been married for so many years and you don't have a child. Harold, this is an opportunity to have a child. And you want me to do it at the expense of my marriage? Oh, Harold. Harold, listen. Whether you like it or not, you are married, yes I know. But your wife cannot give you a child. She's barren. Is this shit better? It's coming. Feel free. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Wow, look at my bed. <laughs> good evening. Yes, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. God, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. you. You came back. Yes, yes, of course. Um, I got something for you. You know, I went to the boutique today. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> All this for me? Of course, you deserve even more. <gasps> 
Would you don't have to? <laughs> but they are beautiful. Yes, you Thank like you. it, right? Yes, good, I good. love it. I mean, <laughs> I just keep thinking. Which man in his right senses would leave a beautiful lady like you? Point of correction, I left him. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, wow. You're making me blush, please. Nothing, um... Poem! <laughs> God... God himself created you, I must say. Well, I'm, I'm glad you like your gift. Thank you. <laughs> right, I'll see you around. Oh, well, of course, I... Um, Okay, fine. I have to be on my way. Thanks. Thank you once again. Alright, please take care of yourself. mind I would like to get back to what I was doing so it has gotten to that point where you then ask me indirectly to leave your office I'm just telling you that I have very important things to do meaning meaning I am busy <laughs> Harold, 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 Harold. you should be appreciative you know a friend like me always give you advice of so much Concerned about your well-being. You are mocking me. That's what you're doing. You're not concerned. I am not mocking you. Your wife is barren, and you know it. I don't want to start creating scene here in your office, but let me put the truth before your face. Your wife is barren. She cannot give you a child. The earlier you begin to think to make a child outside your wedlock, the better for you. Did I tell you that the person who sent Olivia? to seduce me, also called my wife to tell her that I'm pants down with my secretary in this office. Blood of Juicy Mary. What? Well, now you know. Good radiance to bad rubbish. Absolutely bad rubbish. Harold. You haven't seen anything yet. I will so crush you, Harold. I will deal with you. Me, Gesta, King of Bachelors. So, you, 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 you went behind me to marry a girl I introduced you to. Harold, this girl was my girl. This girl was my girl. Simply because you met this girl with me, I introduced you to this girl. What did you do, Harold? Harold, you went behind me and we talked this same girl into marrying you, and now you're enjoying riches. No, then I'm not marrying her name. King of Bachelors doesn't know what he's doing. Oh my goodness! Ah! I will sting you that you will shout, you will scream. Harold, what I will do to you? Ears will hear, mouth cannot speak. Hi. Well, this is just the beginning. I have started stinging you. And Iga no dia. Iga boni ke no. Iga no dia ne no. I'm telling you. That I can assure you. Even if this is the last thing I will do. Harold. Iga boni me ke no. Iga timpo. Nonsense. So, how are you, my beautiful, gorgeous Lucia? I am fine. I know you missed me. Oh, please. Because I miss you as well. Kesta, why are you still single at this age? Hmm? How do you expect me to be married? Of course, I've been waiting for you and I know you'll definitely come back to me. Are you out of your mind? Are you sure you're okay? Because something is definitely wrong with you. You know I met you before Harold did. Meaning what? I 
I met you before Harold outwitted me and married you. And you know it. Something is definitely wrong with you. You're, you're out of your mind. Tessa, let me ask you a question. What is your problem? Hmm? You have Jennifer. She's a woman in your life. Why don't you go ahead and marry her? Oh my goodness. I can't believe you're bringing this topic of Jennifer up again. Jennifer is just there temporarily. I mean, she's going to hold the nails until the person who is supposed to occupy the vacuum comes up. And who is this person? Well, she's in existence and she's seated next to me. My baby. <laughs> You're definitely out of your mind. There's, there is no way out of it. You, you've lost it. Kesta, what? Were you the one that called me hours ago to, to tell me that my husband is making out with his secretary in his office with an unknown number? Were you the person? Hell no. I mean, why would I think of Liar! You? Oh, gosh. Oh, how dare you call me a liar? Of course, that is what you are. Kesta, what is this? Why are you doing this? What do you stand to gain from all of this? You paid Olivia to go seduce my husband and then called me to inform me that my husband is making out with Olivia. Thank God my husband has dignity. Unlike some he goats. Huh? You lost again. Kesta doesn't lose. Listen. If I can't have you, Harold will never. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Harold already have me. And he is not going anywhere. Hmm? So just go. Just go. Eh? Go and find a woman to marry. Get over me. You can never, ever, ever have me. Not in this lifetime. Less man. Fool. Hello, Vera. Hi, Big Sis. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Are you back? Oh, no. I'm on my way back from the airport. Wow. Have you, have you closed? Have you closed from the shop? No, I'm still at the boutique. I've had a bad day. Oh, what happened? My darling, God has finally revealed the face behind the mask. Are you kidding me? Remember that encounter I had with that madman? You're not being real like right now, sis. You know what? Don't worry. When you, when you come, I will tell you everything in person, okay? I cannot wait. I can't wait to hear all of it. Hey! All right, I'll, I'll be expecting you. Bye. Okay, okay. Snakes buried under the green grass. I 
you know? While I was in the bathroom, yeah. something dropped in my spirit. What is it? I think I know who is after us. Who? Kester. Kester. Yes, Kester. I have a feeling Kester paid Olivia to do what she came to do with me today. That nonsense she did. Why, why would you think that? Well, for some time now, he's been advising me to consider impregnating Olivia so she can give me children. But what? And, 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 and you're just saying it to me now? I'm sorry. There's something unusual about Kester. I can't seem to place my finger on it. But I'm certain there's something weird about him. <laughs> yeah, I do. I like it. Such a classy restaurant. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for the accolades. <laughs> I'm so glad and honored that someone actually appreciates what we're doing here. I'm lost. I mean, you're getting me all confused. Well, this is one of my achievements here in Nigeria. Serious? Yes. And I own two hotels in this state. Wow! Well, by the grace of God. This is great. You are <laughs> doing well you. for yourself. Really? Yeah. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, let me call on the waiter to get us something to eat and drink. Okay. Oh, feel free. Um, waiter! Waiter! something I've been meaning to tell you for, for some time now. Okay. I'm all ears. Before you came back from Ghana. Okay. Kesta and I dated. No. No! Baby, it, it was, it was, it was the past. It was before we came together. It was, it was before. No, baby. No. How can I be married to my friend's girlfriend? Ex. But it doesn't make any difference. It makes a whole lot of difference because we broke up. He was cheating on me. Hey, babe, what's up? I'm fine. And you? 
Um, where are you? I am on my way to the bank. Oh, the bank. Oh, I see. So, when will you be done from the bank? I don't know, but soon. No, no, come on. I'm just asking you, know, my baby. I need to ask about your whereabouts. When I'm done, I'm just going to go and help mom. See, you know now. Oh, okay. It's alright. Um, so, I'll get to talk to you later. Take care of you. Uh, alright, baby. I love you too. Bye. <laughs> from the sound of your voice over the phone and I decided to come here and see who you are with this time around but Kesa, you did not disappoint me! She was missing her way so when I saw her on the balcony I pulled her nose I was trying to tell her you go left, you go right then you pass through the middle axis Babe! Babe! I'm not here in the room I'm not here in the room I'm not here in the room Mommy? Yes I'm going to kill them Oh, now you're going to kill them Get out of here! That was how we broke up. He came back begging, but I wasn't moved. How long did you guys date? Three years. Oh, yes, babe, three, three good years, and you did. You thought it wise to, to hide that away from me? I'm sorry. That was very wrong of me, but Kesta, Kesta is the worst mistake of my life. It's something I, I, I don't want to remember or go back to. More reason why you should have told me about it. Knowing the kind of person that Kesta is, his lifestyle, Kesta is lewd, he's, he's irresponsible. No wonder he's been saying all kinds of nasty things about you. Just to make me the real and start sleeping around. That's what he's been doing. I've heard one or two persons say it to my ears that my husband married an older woman because of her money. God. He's actually said that in my presence before. Baby, he just wants you to leave so he can come back. He wants me to leave. Wait, he wants to come back to the person. He's been trying to convince me that is that that she's older than me in every ramification. That you hid your age from me. He's been saying all sorts of things. How you hid your age? How you're not telling me your real age? He said that. He said all that and even more. But I just ignored him because I've always known he's a bitter and and jealous friend. What has she done? is her crime Nobody deserves this Nobody deserves this Nobody deserves to be treated this way Nobody can take this Nobody Um, Jennifer Yes, Bobby you radiate like the morning sun. Thank you. You are the star in my darkness. You're beautifully and naturally endowed. You know, I have come to understand that everything that happens in our lives happens for a reason. And with all humility, I hope I get it right this time with you. You are talking in parables. Jennifer. Yes? I love you with every ounce of my being. I want to create perfume memories with you. I want to travel the world with you. I want to have beautiful kids with you. So please, 
with all humility. Will you marry me? Cause she's got a good heart. Babe, are you okay? Yes. Yes, yes, I'm fine. I don't mean I'm fine. Um, I guess I took you down memory lane. I'm so sorry. Of course I'll marry you. Are, are you sure about this? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. 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 From the show of our feet to the top of her head, she is the epitome of beauty and grace. With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart, she never bears no grudge. She's ready to love whenever. Hey, You are hiding Miss Organic from me. Is it the man that wants to marry her? Mama, any cause, any cause. Okay, go give me Miss Organic. Mama, organic cream is the cream young girls of these days, you know. The challenge day. Now how she's skin. Mama, that is what they call organic cream. Not those days again. But I'm Mama, I'm a brother. Mama. No, 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 no. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Mama. Hey, because there are different of this. Oh, let me go straight to why I summoned you. Okay. No. Mm. I don't like the way things are turning out. Yes, Mama. You sounded worried in your call. What is the problem? Echezona. Echezona is my problem. Herod, your brother, is trying to kill me. Mm. Any if I die, if anything happens to me, let him not attend my burial. Mm. Mama, please, can you just allow Herod and his wife? Huh? Just allow them. Don't, do you even know how, how they are feeling concerning their problem? What do you want the young man to do? No. Echezona has been married for so many years. Will I say seven to eight years in counting? And you that just married a few years ago has two children and your wife is pregnant with the third one. Mama, for the fact that Herod and I are blood brothers does not mean that we have the same destiny. And don't forget that Nkema Konam was already pregnant for me before I got married to her. Does it matter? Open your hand and turn a marriage. It shows that she is fertile. Not that Awani, Awani, Awani water goddess. Will he not get you when one more? We're talking about the top of the house. My dear sister, we believe Kesta is responsible for our predicaments. Kesta? What well, is you of all people should know that pointing an accusing finger on someone without a concrete evidence 
is out of place. You're but, not even sure. But it is obvious. I asked him and he couldn't even deny it. So you even think I don't know this case of a guy? I've not met him before. You know you guys were dating and I was in London then. So I don't even know what his face looks like. You don't know him? I don't know him. Hold on, let me... Uh, you don't know him? No, I don't know him. Uh, hold on. I think I can still find his page on Instagram. So let's okay. see. There you go. That is the Mugu. This face looks familiar. Like, Are you serious? Met, yeah. Oh, oh. I remember. Sis, do you remember the fool I told you about the other day? The one that was following me when I was coming out from um, the shopping mall. The same one you said met you when you, you were stranded on the road. You had a flat tire. Exactly. Ah, sis, he's the one. This is the person. Now look at him. I run. Run for your life. This guy, he is a he goat. That is what he is. Yes, <laughs> you're cool. Uh. <laughs> Lucia, yes. how far? The IVF, have you done it? Mm -mm. I told you I'm not going to do it. Shimu. What do you mean? What is your reason for not doing this? Lucia, I don't know what you are thinking, no. but see you see monopause. I am telling you the truth. I don't know what you are doing, no. but be fast before the nine letter words come knocking on your door. I know you were looking <laughs> out for me, okay? I understand. It's just that I do not want to do this. 